imagination you can draw pictures can tell a story they can capture it all visit the library read a book each day and we have a story you can illustrate find a subject you like and then jump in and explore you'll find yourself reading more and more every time you go there you get more smart when you're done at the library you can help with our arts mr deweese has a story but he needs your help if there aren't any pictures it can go on the shelf help from friends and your imagination too you can make an illustration and we'll say thank you you can make an illustration and we'll say woohoo you can make an illustration and we'll say yabba dabba do Hey, kids, it's me, Mr. Castiglione. And me, your other art teacher, Miss Smith. Howdy, partners. Don't you forget about me, Mr. DeWeese, your reading teacher. <laughs> All right. Well, kids, if you've been watching each episode, we're already on page nine of Mr. DeWeese's story. Can you tell us how it works, Mr. DeWeese? Yes. Um, I'm reading one page each episode. Your job is to listen very carefully and you come up with illustrations for what I read, okay? Um, today we're dedicating this episode to all those first graders out there. First grade. All right, get ready first grade. Are you ready? All right. Yes. Here we go. I'm gonna be reading page nine. All right. She starts yelling and waving her arms. My heart is racing like a freight train. I think it may burst right out of my chest. I see the beast begin its approach. I close my eyes. Sweat is now pouring down my forehead and off my nose. The earth begins to tremble. The horrible hoofbeats echo through the air. This is it. I'm going to die. Guys. Guys. Whoa. Oh Whoa. My oh my goodness. <sighs> Were you imagining too? Yes, that man, was so intense. That painted a picture in my mind. Oh man, I just want to get it on paper. Yes. All right. Well, Mr. Deweese, we have some ideas, as you can probably see from our imaginations. I'm sure the students do also, but this is your story. Yeah. So what do you want the students to draw for this page? Okay, so now that was a pretty intense page. So there are okay. lots of possibilities. You can tell that part I was really scared. Yep. Um, so I have my notes out, okay. and here um, for page nine, it could mm -hmm. be like a nervous or scared child. Oh, yeah. um, you know how I talked about like my heart pounding? Yeah. You'd have something like that, or or the actual <laughs> yeah, something like that. Um, <laughs> or you could have like the actual cow like barreling towards me, and I'm oh, like, ah! yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you guys think? That. I think there's a lot of ways you could probably draw that. Yeah. Yeah, so kids, what we'll do is Miss Smith and I will block in some ideas for you. We're gonna make some composition ideas, nothing too complicated, but we wanna give you a place to get started from. Now you can take our ideas, you can leave our ideas. If you like them, use them. If you don't like them, change them, okay? You ready, Miss Smith? I'm ready. All right, here we go. All right, Miss Smith, the Kit, Mr. Deweese is very nervous. Mm -hmm. Cow running at him. Right. Do you have any ideas? He's standing still. Right. So I'm thinking about putting the cow, I'm thinking about making the cow huge. Right. Okay. Huge so that he... Do you know how to draw a cow? I don't. I don't. Um, I was just figuring out, look online. Yeah. Kind of get some ideas. Right. But just for the sake of this video... Yeah, something simple. It's something simple, right? It's up to you kids to think of all, to make the details. Right. And actually, I've said this in each video, but there's a little slideshow. We'll put it on a link on the side. It's just pictures of cows and things that you might use in your artwork. Yeah. For a little bit of inspiration, so you don't have to go searching all over the internet. I think that's a great idea. And then him. And I want to try to have him kind of looking back, which is a little hard to draw. But, like, he's... Like he's looking to see like where is the cow, right? And yeah, and he's standing still.
don't know. Something like that. I like it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Very cool. Wow. Okay. So, the kids, it, kids, your idea, of course, to make the details. Here's what I'm thinking, Miss Smith. Okay. There's so many ways to draw the same thing. What? I'm picturing the same idea, but a really close close up. Oh, my marker. Do you mind if I borrow your marker, Miss Smith? Sure, let's okay. try it. Thank you, Miss Smith. All right, so I'm picturing Mr. Deweese's head. Okay. Right? And there's like a vein. I'll have to put some pictures on our little slideshow of how to draw forehead veins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a little vein. And his eyebrows are nervous, right? I want to just do tons of detail. So, uh, there's crow's feet at the edge. There's his eyes, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Mr. Deweese, uh, he's got, he's sweaty, right? Because mm-hmm. he's nervous. And he's got some ears, right? And then some lines under the eyes to show he's nervous. Okay. And then big pupils. That kind of oh, shows I he's like scared, that. right? Or wait, no, is it the opposite? I can't remember. Would scared eyes be small pupils? It would be no. small pupils. It would? I think it would. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, anyway, oh, you guys no, are going to have to do I a little like explore. I big one. Yeah. You guys are going to have to figure it out. Don't put X marks on your pictures, though. This is supposed to be a nice finished picture, right? Right. It could be a drawing. It could be... It could be... What could it be? Colored pencil, I guess. Mm-hmm. Crayon. You could pose your your dolls. Oh. And take pictures of them. How neat would that be? Yeah. You can make it on the computer. Mm-hmm. Ooh, digital art. I like it. Mm-hmm. So many ways to make your artwork. You could do a close-up, like I gave you an idea for behind side view. Mm-hmm. And of course, you're going to think of your own ideas. Right. And we cannot wait to see what they are. Check out the references mm-hmm. for inspiration and make a beautiful piece of artwork. Yeah. All right. Cannot wait to see what you come up with. To turn in your illustration, you could just wait and turn it in during art class next year. Or you could use it as an excuse to visit one of Virginia's most spectacular libraries, the TCC Virginia Beach Joint Use Library. You have got to come here. Just ask your parents to drive you to the Virginia Beach TCC Joint Use Library and walk to the back to the children's area. Find the golden treasure box in the back of the room and open it up. Make sure to take out a folder from the top of the box and fill out the form inside. It has a place where you can think of a title for Mr. Deweese's story, but you have to visit the library in order to have a say in it. Your parent is also gonna need to sign this part, so don't leave that part out. Place the form and the artwork into the folder and close the treasure box. We'll be checking in every so often. I cannot wait to see your work. If you forget exactly what to do, don't worry. The librarians are very helpful. Just ask them for help, and they will show you what to do and where to go. Now, if you're not from Virginia Beach, Virginia, but you still want to make an illustration for Mr. Deweese's story, you can simply ask for your parents' help to take a nice photograph of your work. Take the photo and email it to me, Mr. Castiglione, at landstownart at gmail.com. Be sure to let me know who you are and where you're from. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Hmm. <laughs> if you've been watching every episode, oh you know that it's time for Don't Cut Reading or Art Out of Your Life Haircut Spinning Wheel. <laughs> no, yes. no, no. I think yeah. you guys should stay where you were. You were bald last week. Keep the hair. Don't uh, cut anything. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. You know Here we go. Last spin. Make it good. Whoa, this one is so cool. Oh my goodness. Guys, if you want to see Mr. Deweese and I with this hairstyle, make sure to tune in next week. And remember, the reason we're doing all this crazy stuff is to inspire you. We want 
to take care of Mr. DeWoots. We want some high quality illustrations for, from you. So make sure to take your time and please check out the little video interviews we have with children's book illustrators. We've got awesome input and you know inspiration from illustrators who make books from all over the world. We've got interviews from artists like Helena Bogosian, who makes little sculptures with her artwork. Uh, Nora Hilb, who is awesome. Uh, Sylvia Chung, Wendy Rasmussen, Pat and Robin DeWitt, and hopefully even more by the time this airs. They took their time to make very special interviews and they're just for our students. So please click the links below and check them out. I think you'll really be inspired. And remember, these are professional illustrators, so it's great that we have this opportunity. Check out the link, you don't want to miss it. Mm -hmm. And I hope you've been checking out the video clips about this wonderful library that we're yep. in, and maybe you even learned something that you're like, wait, our library has that? It's and got you, some amazing stuff. And yep. then you came and checked it out. Yeah. Yep. All right. This is the TCC, Virginia Beach, Joint, Joint Use. Use. Library! <laughs> <laughs> All right, check out the clip and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. Have fun Bye. illustrating. Bye! Hi guys, this is Miss Elena, the youth librarian at the Joint Youth Library again. I'm sitting at my computer right now because I want to show you some of the really cool things that we have on our website. You don't even have to leave home to use some of these things. However, if you don't have internet access or if you don't have a computer, you can come to the library and we have those here that you can use for free. But let me show you some of the things on our website that you can access. If you go to vbgov.com slash libraries, or you could go to Google and do a search for Virginia Beach Public Library, that'll take you to our main library webpage right here. If you go over on the left where it says downloadables, I'm going to show you some of the cool things that you can access from home. So if you like to read ebooks, if you like to have, read books on your tablet or your device or your computer, you can click on here. And these are all the different ebooks that we have. If you have a Kindle and you like to read on that, you can get Kindle books. We even have comic books that you can read for free. Let's go back to that main page. If you like to listen to books, I love to listen to books when I'm driving to work. You can go to our audiobook section and you can download free audiobooks to your device. Of course, you can always come into the library and check out audiobooks as well. We've got magazines that you can download to your computer and to your device. And remember that this is all free if you have a Virginia Beach Public Library card. And we have music. You can check out CDs at the library. Or you can go to the library's website, go to the downloadable section, click on music, and you can get free music. If you use this one, you can get three free songs a week and keep them on your device until you no longer want them. And we also have video. So you guys know you can come to the library and check out DVDs. You can also get streaming video from the library's website through these different services that we have. And it's all free, you just need a library card. To get a library card, if you don't have one or if yours expired, just come on into the library with your mom or your dad. They'll fill out a quick application and we'll get you a library card and you'll be on your way to having books, music, magazines, and videos all at your fingertips. Bye, hope to see you soon.